What's up guys? So today I got another video for you. Uh, it would be an update video, but actually we're going to do the update on Monday because I told people the event would end on Monday. I meant f this d today. I don't know why I said Monday. We usually do updates on Friday, so I don't know why I would have been thinking of Monday, but I said Monday, so we're going to do the update Monday. So you get one more weekend to do the overpowered event that is giving everybody all the money. Uh, if you have not seen this event, I would definitely recommend checking it out because you get... Uh, I'll show you my bank in a second. I'll show you all the crap I've got. These are just the pumpkins alone, which probably isn't even that many. I have not played the event as much as I'd like. I have not played the server at all as much as I'd like, as, as I'm sure you've known. And uh, that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Basically, just an IRL update video you can see from the face cam and whatnot. Uh, if I pause my video or do anything, like my webcam is, is, is on the cusp of breaking, so... I, uh, I'm not going to mess with that. We're just going to stroll through. But uh, yeah, so the event is still out. I'll show you the bank after this damn kill. Oh, yeah, there's a new spec in the last update. I mean, look at that. All right. So, I mean, you get a lot of little drafts, but I mean, that's, you know, they're nice. They add up some supplies, a lot of supplies, especially for new players. That's going to get you some good skill and supplies. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I got, uh, I've already gotten one Uber box, uh, five bonds. A lot of these are from when I gave everybody stuff. I also got an Elite Mystery Box. Uh, I've stocked up here, and I haven't even barely done the event. And at the moment, uh, until the event ends, because I'm not going to change it, the uh, uh, search for a monster. I, what I need to do is always make the event boss in popular. I think I can control that. I always do Sliske first, knowing that his name is not Sliske. I should have just named him Sliske. I don't know why I did that to myself. But he's dropping uh, 3x pumpkins. So, I mean, yeah, even even more pumpkins on the, on the Sliske boss. So, definitely come join here. So, anyways, on to the IRL update. Uh, I've been doing okay, doing better. Um, October was just a rough month for me. I don't really know why. That's just kind of how depression works. It just happens, creeps up on you. Um, I'd been doing a lot better physically. Like, uh, in, uh, I had a three-week period where I walked 100 kilometers each week, which is like, like 60 miles, I think. And that's not including what I go on the gym, because when I go to the gym, I go on the treadmill for a couple miles as well. And that doesn't count towards Pokemon Go. So I did like I did like almost 75 miles three weeks in a row, and I ended up losing like only like five pounds. Like I, I know it's probably because you gain muscle, but I just also was eating a lot more. I don't know if it's the increased appetite from walking more. I think part of it was like when I first started my weight loss journey, I really didn't put any effort into figuring out what I should do because I, I'd, I'd research that stuff like that. I've researched weight loss in the past and I've never was able to lose any weight. And the problem with it is for every opinion, there's a dissenting opinion. Like if someone says, you know, only eat on Tuesdays, there's going to be somebody that says never eat on Tuesdays, only eat green food, never eat green food. Like there's always weird, you know, I mean, there's always contradictions. So it's really hard to get like a real grasp on what to do and and a big part of it is figuring out yourself right because everybody's different like what work what might work for somebody is not going to work for somebody else so uh, i didn't really put any effort into researching i just figured i i, I saw a subreddit called 1500 is plenty they just eat 1500 calories a day and i thought fuck it i'll do that i'll eat 1500 calories a day and i'll go to the i'll get a gym membership and go to the gym every day so that was pretty much how i started but if you're any if you're if you have any, you know, anything about like eating and food and whatnot, and calories and stuff like that, fifteen hundred is a, is low. It's really low, and it's not only that is I didn't really want to eat healthy food. I just I, I don't know I'm picky, so I've been eating the same kinds of food. Like I still eat pizza, burgers. Tonight my meal is gonna be popcorn at the movies. I'm gonna go see uh, Black Panther two. So my my dinner is just medium popcorn. That's basically all I'm eating the entire day because I think it's like eleven hundred calories. So I don't eat anything healthier and I'm not getting like, I was, I was kind of concerned I wasn't getting my like daily nutrients. Like I think, I don't know, you need some, right? You need protein and shit like that. I know that much, but I got a little in my head about that. Um, I just started feeling, I don't know if I was feeling effects from that. Cause I mean, you're supposed to feel weak, lethargic and, and shit like that. But I don't know if it was just me getting in my head. Cause that's very, I'm, I'm very want to do that, but uh, I got in my head about it and started eating more and I started getting a lot, I don't know, just like I was, I was eating a lot more protein too, which would make sense that you would gain muscle if you start consuming a lot more protein like you should. So I don't know. I got in my head about it and it just, 
just didn't feel good. Just didn't feel confident and was and, and felt like I was eating more. Like I've had like I don't know in, in the past month I've probably had like six or seven days where I've eaten three or four thousand calories, which isn't as bad as I used to. Because I'm telling you, I used to eat like ten thousand calories a day, but it's still not what I want to be. And you know, you're not you're not going to lose any weight if you do that. Um, so. In the last in the month of October, I only lost six pounds, and it was just it felt really disappointing because um, up till then I was losing twenty to fifteen pounds a month. Like it was going really smooth, and um, I don't want muscle. I know that that's kind of a, a weird opinion to have, but I uh, I'm just not interested in like the big physique. I've been big all my life, fat, and I I understand that there's a difference, especially healthy and I don't know from an attractive just standpoint, but. I just don't want to be big, so I don't really, I, I don't lift weights, I'm not trying to gain muscle, I'm trying to get as thin as possible, so if I am gaining muscle, then, I mean, I I, I don't want to not gain muscle, you know what I mean, but it's just, I, uh, I felt like I strayed off the path that I was trying to go down, and not only that, just also trouble, like, in real life, you know, real life is tough, and... I hate talking about stuff like that, because that applies to everybody, like, it's not like any, I mean, like, sure, there's some people that just everything is smooth sailing for him but that's it's, it's a cliche thing to complain about especially depression because everyone suffers through depression so there's like no point in whining about it like everyone's like yeah same so but whatever so i mean like the the, the main thing i'm trying to say is that like it's it's, it's been tougher and uh, and like when it came to revival one my my number one priority was always a server i didn't give a crap what i was doing i was sitting on the, the sitting on my bed eating junk food drinking chocolate milk i didn't give a crap about what i was doing or anything happening in my life uh my number one priority was revival now obviously i had m many numerous bouts of depression or you know getting burnt out and stuff like that and i left the server and, uh, but even then my my number one concern when you know when i'm sitting there pitying myself being sad would be the server and you know trying to think about ways i could help it and fix it and save it and shit like that but um, now it's, it's different. I, my number one concern is, is staying on the path of losing weight and getting healthy. Like that's, that's my number one concern. So when I was, you know, getting sad, like I couldn't stop myself from eating food. So I would just take walks. Like, like I said, I was going on 15, 15 kilometer walks. There. I, I use kilometers cause that's how Pokemon works. I really wish America would just use the metric system, but whatever. But so, but <laughs> So if you if you use the metric system, then you'll you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But right now I'm at a point where like I don't I have literally no snacks in my box because I can't control myself to not eat them all. Like I I just I'm at that point where I, I just don't. I, I, at least I'm like I'm I'm because that's the thing is it's not self control that I wouldn't go to the store and buy new snacks. It's that I'm lazy. Uh, luckily, I have a, a very high self awareness, uh, so I know myself, and I know that that's going to prevent me from doing. Like I have actually have snacks, I have uh, some Tootsie Rolls in the car, but I know I'm too lazy to go get them, so I'm not concerned with eating them. But like if I had them right here in my drawer, I I probably would not be able to stop myself. So it's just been tough trying to get on the path, and a big part, a big problem for me is I can't feel like satisfaction from things. I don't know if that's ADHD. Or I'm just fucked up in a different way, but like, like, whenever that, whenever I release an update on the server, it's not like, oh, cool, the update's out, everybody's gonna get to play it. I'm excited to see what people think. It's immediate, like, it just there's no satisfaction. It's just immediately like it's a small sense of relief that it's done, and then immediate dread for the next update. Like, there's never a moment where I can just relax. And it's nothing that you guys do or like that. You guys are fine. It's it's all me and. A big and like with my weight loss, I've lost 130 pounds, which is a very substantial amount of weight. I, I understand that, I, I, but I, I I don't you know what I mean? Like I I don't feel anything from it. I don't feel the satisfaction or the accomplishment. Maybe at the end, I'm, I fucking hope at the end I will because uh, I don't know. But right now, like I, I don't know, it feels no, it doesn't feel any different. I feel basically the same from a, from so it's just it's. It's tough. Like I, I keep telling myself, I'm like you. You've obviously you've lost a ton of weight. You, you've lost. I mean, I only have to. I only have to lose 40 more pounds, and then I'm at my 100% end goal. Technically, I only have to lose 25 more. Um, right now, I weigh 245, and at 220 is a healthy BMI. 
which would be my basically my first end goal, if you will, because then I'd be healthy. I wouldn't even be fat anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's I mean that's kind of debatable because I'm still gonna have like a big pooch belly, but. I would be a healthy weight. So that would be the first goal was 220. And then my, my end goal, I think, is 199. Just so I can say I'm like, I'm, I'm in the 100s. And then I think, I you know, I, I hope to look good. And then from that point, then I'm going to try to, you know, work on building some muscle. And look at that loot right there. I thought I made Mystery Box not yell, but clearly I did not. I was going to make it so Mystery Box didn't yell, because at this point it probably shouldn't yell. But I'm telling you, the event is, is overpowered. But that's good. I think events should be overpowered. I think they need to be more interactive. I think that's what these events are missing. And part of that is because like I was, you know, I was going through shit and I wanted to get the event out as, you know, as quickly as possible while still being uh, playable. And it did. I think it did take another update before it was good. I don't think it was good initially. I think it took a couple. I think it took another update, but. But yeah, I think the next event definitely needs to be more interactive. Like not AFK. Like you have to actually do stuff. I, I don't know what. I mean, I guess Christmas, but we'll probably do something before. Eh, it's probably going to be Christmas because <laughs> I think people will be a little bit burnt out if we did a November event. Maybe like a one-day event. Like, I'll just make a, a boss really overpowered for like one weekend or something like that. I don't know. Maybe like Thanksgiving weekend. We'll see. We'll see what happens, how people feel. But uh, anyways, I figure I'll wrap the video up there. Just wanted to give you guys an update on uh, me because I guess that is important to the server. Um, Dark is still around. I, I, he's helpful. He's working on Next right now, I believe. He's working on Next and Theater of Blood. I believe Theater of Blood was just uh, slow and having issues. And, you know, he figured he'd start working on Next so we'd at least get something out. Um, so, yeah, you should hopefully see that soon. And then I've started the concepts on God Wars 2. It's... Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to show you. No spoilers. But, yeah, I've got... Uh, ooh, Disc of Returning. That's, if it's a duplicate, which this one is, you can basically just consume it for a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't checked out the event, uh, definitely do. Uh, some good stuff coming soon for the server. I should have a update out Monday. Definitely. Hopefully. Definitely. <laughs>